the number one Black Cats fan is back again. And Sunderland have finally... Fucking hell. Yeah, I put it on Facebook. <laughs> uh, you know, this deal has been on and off more times than the Craig Gordon deal. Or it's been on and off more times than a fucking prostitute's knickers. Finally have signed Lamin Kone from Lorient. Um, for a fee between 6 to 8 million pounds. So, offer they couldn't refuse, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so, well, what, what can he bring? Well, I've seen... You know, I've been trolling the internet and I've seen a fair few videos uh, that he's been, you know, of games that he's been in. And he just seems like there's no bullshit style of defender, which is great. You know, all of this, they'll play it out from the back. No, no, don't take fucking with you get rid of it. You know? And, um, yeah, so he brings a fresh style of defensive play. And once we get Kabul back, the likes of O'Shea, Kabul and Kone in there. With the wing backs, yeah, you know, that's a good solid defence. Not to mention the fact that we look set to hijack Debushi's move to Villa. Not guaranteed, of course, but we do look set to, to hijack it. <coughs> <coughs> so it's it's going to be interesting, you know, four and a half year deal, not a five year deal, as Sky Sports were reporting. You know, you'd think at least they get fucking one thing right, but um, yeah, so he's going to bring a fresh style of defensive play to something, which is great to see. You know, um, he well uh, as it stood, he was currently having a fairly good season for Lorient as well, um, and it, it's just it's great to see a fresh defender, and of course coupled with the news, Quartes is hopefully, hopefully going bye bye. Oh Jesus Christ! You know that was probably the worst signing we've ever made. I believe it was 1.9 million from Liverpool, 1.9 million that we will never fucking see again, that's for sure. Waste of utter money he was. Might have been our saviour last season, but this season he hasn't been our saviour. He's been, I don't, I don't know, he's been like the fucking devil incognito, isn't he, you know? Just constantly trying to fuck us over. But um, yeah, so hopefully he'll be out the door, another player off the wage bill. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting because we've got Mavrias as well, he's gone. So, you know, could it pave the way for the likes of Debushi financially? Yes. Are you? Yes. Y you know? Because um, that deal is still open. Swansea haven't rejected it yet. So they've got to be considering it. Not to mention they're looking abroad. So, you know, hopefully in the next couple of days. You never know, guys. You never know. As long as uh, as long as long Kone can make that starting lineup, he's fully fit. He's ready and raring to go. So, and you know, against Man City with no company, uh, and, well, by the look of it, no De Bruyne, possibly for the rest of the season. Well, who knows? So, be interested to see whether uh, Sam sort of throws into the wolves. Because uh, he can cope with pressure really well. Unlike uh, most of our defence, which haven't really been able to cope at all. Apart from one or two games. So, yeah, um, very interested to see what he can do. Uh, let me know what you think of the signing. Again, as always, let me know in the comments if you've heard any more rumours. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button now, and well, I'll see you and Kone very soon. <laughs>